Hello students. In our last session, we have started with the chapter number eight, that is body movements. Let's quickly revise the topics that we have studied in our last session. First, we have studied about the different movements in our body. Various movements take place in our body. We have studied some of the examples in which our body shows the movement. when we remain at the same place we have also seen the movement in our body when we move from one place to another like when we walk run jump skip etc the different parts of our body shows the different movements like our arm rotates completely you can try and to rotate your arm the arm will rotate at the shoulder region the some part like neck and the back will rotate partly bend and even lift so the different parts of our body shows the different movements then we have studied about the joints we have seen that different body uh, different parts of our body shows the different movements how is it possible this is possible because of joints what are joints the part of the body where the two bones meet because of the joints we are able to rotate or bend our body we have studied the two different types of joint that is ball and socket joint and the pivotal joint we have seen the activity in which we have studied about the structure of ball and socket joint where is ball and socket joint located in our body it is located in the shoulder and in the hip region which allows the complete movement of our body then we have studied about the pivotal joint where is the pivotal joint located it is located in the neck and in the wrist region i hope all these topic that we have studied in our previous session are understood to you now let us study the another joint that is present in our body that is hinge joint let's see how the hinge joint shows the movement in our body to study the movement of the hinge joint we will perform an activity it is a very simple activity what you have to do is just open and close the door few times the hinges are present in the door that allows the movement of the door observe the hinges of the door carefully how do the hinges allow the movement of the door they allow the door to move back and forth isn't it when we open and close the door how do the movement of the door is seen the door moves back and forth similarly the hinge joint that is present in a body helps in the movement of our body in back and forth direction now let us see the another activity make a cylinder with a cardboard or a thick chart paper what you have to do take a cardboard or a thick chart paper and make a cylinder out of it attach a small piece of a cylinder by piercing a cylinder at the center what you have to do you have to pierce or make a small hole at the center of the cylinder and attach a small pencil to that cylinder now make a hollow half cylinder from the cardboard such that the rolled up cylinder can fit inside it easily now you have to take the another cardboard and make a hollow half cylinder now this time you don't have to make the full cylinder but you have to make a half cylinder you can see in the image how the cylinder is made the hollow half cylinder is made such that the rolled up cylinder can fit inside it the hollow half cylinder with the rolled up cylinder sitting inside it allows the movement like a hinge it will show the movement like the hinge that is present in the door 
we can see this kind of the movement at the elbow so in our body this type of the movement can be seen in the elbow the elbow has the hinge joint that allows only the back and forth movement you can observe by moving your elbow the elbow will move in the back and in the forth direction the hinge joint is also present in the knee in the finger toes and in the ankle region you try to move your finger how does our finger moves it moves in the back and the forth direction isn't it now let us study the fixed joints that are present in our body some joints between bones in our head are different from those we have discussed so far so you can see in the image that some of the joints are present between the bones in our head so these joints are different from the joints that we have discussed we have discussed the three types of joints that are ball and socket joint pivotal joint and the hinge joint we have seen that these joints show some of the other movement in our body while the fixed joint do not show the movement the bones cannot move at these joints so the bones that are present at these joints does not show any movement such joints are called as the fixed joints so as the name suggests fixed these joints are fixed they do not show any movement in ball and socket joint we have seen that the ball and socket joint shows the complete rotation then we have seen the pivotal joint pivotal joint shows the movement in the backward and the forward direction right and left direction while the hinge joint shows the back and forth movement but the fixed joint does not show any movement now let us see some of the other examples of the fixed joint when you open your mouth wide you can move your lower jaw away from your head you can try this try to open your mouth wide what you will observe that your lower jaw will move away from the head while it's not possible with the upper jaw why it is not possible because there is a joint between the upper jaw and the rest of the head which is a fixed joint the upper jaw cannot move why because the joint is present between the upper jaw and the rest of the head which is a fixed joint therefore we can only see the movement in our lower jaw while the upper jaw remains fixed now observe your body you will observe that the different parts of the body have the different shape so what gives the different parts of the body their different shape how our body gets the different shape all the different bones in our body forms a framework to give a shape to our body so the bones that are present in our body forms the framework that gives the shape to our body and this framework is called as the skeleton we have studied earlier that the human skeleton consists of 305 bones at the time of the birth but slowly these bones are reduced to 206 why as some of the bones get fused with each other now observe your finger bend your finger you will observe that your finger will bend at every joint that means our finger have many bones it is made up of several small bones called as the carpels so when you will do this when you will try to bend your finger you will observe that the finger will bend at many joint that means our finger consists of the many bones and these small bones are called as carpels 
the chest bone and the back bone join together to form a box this is called as the rib cage the chest bone and the back bone will join together and they will form a box like structure this is known as the rib cage there are 12 ribs on the each side of the chest so on the each side of the chest the 12 ribs are present the rib cage protects the important internal parts of our body like lungs and heart now here is the another activity touch the toes without bending the knees what you have to do you have to touch the your toes without bending the knees now starting from the neck move your fingers downwards on the back now you have to start from the neck portion and move your finger downwards on the back what you will feel is the back bone it is made up of many small bones called as the vertebrae so the back bone is made up of many small bones it is called as vertebrae back bone consists of 33 vertebrae so how much vertebrae do our back bone has it has 33 vertebrae that means 33 small bones rib cage is also joined to these bones so we have seen that the rib cage is made up of the back bone and the chest bone joined together so the back bone is also joined to form the rib cage if back bone was made up of only one long bone will you be able to bend it think if our back bone was made up of only one bone we will not be able to bend now let us see the another activity what we have to do in this activity is make your friend stand with both hands press to the wall and ask your friend to push the wall see in the image how it is done the image represents that the hands are pressed to the wall like we are pushing the wall so what you will notice is the two bones on the back are prominent where the shoulders are so in the shoulder region you will observe the two bones these bones are known as shoulder bones see in the image where the shoulder bones are located and how it looks like this image represents the pelvic bone the structure you see is of the pelvic bone where is the pelvic bone located the pelvic bone enclose the portion of the body below the stomach so it is located below the stomach this is the part you sit on now the skull is made up of many bones joined together we have seen that the skull is also made up of many bones that are joined together and these bones are fixed bones it encloses and protects a very important part of the body the brain so what does the skull do it encloses and protects a very important part of the body that is brain so skull helps in the protection of our brain there are some parts of the skeleton that are not as hard as the bones and which can be bent these are called as cartilage earlier we have studied that bones are hard and bones cannot be bent but our skeleton also contains some part that are not as hard as the bones and which can be bent so these parts are known as cartilage to understand what cartilage is we will perform an activity simultaneously you also do this activity feel your ear try to feel your ear do you find any hard bony parts that can be bent do you find any bone that is present any hard bone that is present in the ear do you notice anything different between the ear lobe and the portion above it do you observe 
any of the change in the ear lobe and the upper part of the ear you will feel something in the upper part of the ear is that is not as soft as the ear lobe and not as hard as the bone this is the cartilage you will find that the ear lobe is soft but the upper part of the ear is not as soft as the ear lobe but it is not hard also like the bone so this part of the ear is known as cartilage it is also found in the joints of the body so the cartilage is also found in the joints of the body so in this session we have studied the two different joints that is hinge joint and the fixed joint we have also studied about the carpals vertebrae rib cage skull and cartilage i hope you have understood the chapter till this much we will continue with this chapter in our next session